Sexy fingers is cow haulage today. So we just got how many have we got in? Seven. Seven. Uh, we've got a, we've got a flat tire, so we're gonna repair that and then uh, we'll get eight in the second load. We're just bringing elephants into these grasses here. There's a lot of grass, is there? Here? I don't know why. Bloody for them though. To be fair, they don't want a lot of grass, do they? Family a kit, family out in lot, even my dad's come to uh, watch the spectacle, my wife's behind, my uncle's coming. A few hogs we've got left. Done really well actually. They're uh, turning a good profit. Back into it. What? Back up. Yeah. Are you excited all? He's excited. Chris, you're easily uh, excited, are you? I'm quite excited too. That's the stage of your life. You look she's forward to things like this. <laughs> no, she's in truck. Oh, she... Just got up early Sunday morning to come and see Erifords because I mean they're in new 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 surroundings so you know and there's a beck what goes right through the field up. So I just thought if one had got caught or out like that or in beck and got bogged down, I'll just check. But yeah, they're all sort of grazing and they've settled in what really good. 
fact there's too much grass for them really I think we'll have to sort of split it so they don't get our fat because they don't want to be uh, too fat when they're carving at Christmas and before you know it it will be Christmas but they're very spooky though they don't want they don't seem to want nought to do with us this morning There's Warney. He stood content with his... He was showing a bit of interest yesterday. I don't know whether it was the excitement of just being out to grass. Uh, but he was showing a bit of interest in one. Uh, can't, but we did write number down. But So when's whether one's come back in season. But he's put a bit of uh, weight back on, actually. His neck's got a lot wider. Um you just have to be very, very careful because we don't know him yet. And to be fair, I don't think you can get too complacent. You know, because, well, my dad says most people, the, 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 the worst bull is a tame bull because you put your trust in him and the next minute he has you. You know, if you're wary of him from the start. The other day, he just sort of nodded his, head, nodded his head and looked a little bit aggressive. In, yeah, it just made me think, nah, don't put your 100% trust in that bugger. I wouldn't like to bring a dog in. No. And that's where people go wrong. That's where accidents happen. People uh, let their dog end up, ends up in with a bull. Bull goes crackers. Person goes in to save dog and gets hurt. Dog gets away. It's like people going into the sea after their dog's stupidity because dog usually gets out because they're resilient. Now, very, very pleased with these lot. Yeah, it's just a shame I ain't got another 15 to go with him, so we've made a, a real good start. But, no, right enough. The quality of the grass isn't brilliant though. I don't know, there's a lot of big patch on this high sand in this field. What? It's, it's grown out. I think we're gonna fence it off. We'll have to look into it because we're in a scheme in this grass. Low input scheme. Uh, um, so I don't know what we can do, but I think it wants sort of just some fresh seed putting in, whether it's a bit of rye grass with some clovers in. Maybe some other bits and pieces. Um, um, it's very light land, so whether you can put some, I don't know, legumes in or something. Um, you know, so it sort of feeds the grass and provides some real good nutrition, nutritious stuff for this, this gang. But they have done well. They've done brilliant for what they've cost I don't know what the plan is with them really though because whether I'm going to try and sell heifers for breeding I don't think I'm going to go down the bull route I mean that's tied up um, <laughs> or just produce high quality grass fed beef that's what people want yeah, it's slow I mean to get one of these right for instance these obviously these are all heifers apart from uh, uh, Warney um, we have had a couple what we could have got fit around two, three months ago. So they'd have been about two year plus, sort of 20, 24, 26 months. 
and we could have had them fit. And they'd have weighed as well. They'd have weighed, you would hope the carcass hung up had have weighed 330, 340 kilo. Um, but it's a 26 month job. So it's, but they, they cost very little. So, or do I sell the efforts and just cash the bulls in for beef? Or even keep the efforts? I don't think that, that at this stage, at these low numbers, that would complicate the job. I'd want to be, uh, I'd be better uh, just buying fresh heifers in from, uh, me, uh, from where I got this gang from. You know, double up next year and then go from there. Maybe keep a few fresh heifers um, off the next batch of calves. I mean, it's a long-term project, is this? I mean, but... I don't know, my plan is, in five years time, to have 60 or 70 breeding uh, Hereford heifers, uh, Hereford cows. Well, we have got a little bit of a long term plan, but I can't tell you no one at, at minute about that. Yeah, there is something maybe in the pipeline with my daughter. There's no water down here, but this is a, uh, they'll just bob down in this ford. In fact, we have to sort of sort this ford out a little bit. It's got a bit steep and soggy, but they'll just paddle down for a drinking beck. But if you look at the dew on the grass this morning, you know, they won't, they get a hell of a lot of uh, um, water while they're eating, you see. I hope they don't cross the beck and then we can take a little bit of hay off that side like we did last year. Um, so I think, I don't know, some side, people aren't fed their grasses. We we're talking to some cowmen and they were, we aren't putting nitrogen on at that, that, that amount of money. You know, they haven't bought it forward, so they weren't paying eight, nine hundred, a thousand pounds for whatever. And... Uh, so there's going to be a lack of grass, lack of fodder. A lot of people are all about getting rid of their cows and packing in with the... Uh... Oh, there's a trout just there. Not real big one. Half pounder maybe, shot off. Oh, that grand. Best part of the day is six o'clock on a Sunday morning, I'll tell you. When everybody else is in bed, no one's to bother you.